Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we're in the art studio. I was just doing a little doodle this morning of the Titanic because that's what my last video was about and it did so well. I was thinking about it and I just did a little doodle of it. It's just a watercolor picture, but I think it turned out really, really cool. But after being in here, I thought, what a perfect opportunity to do a little giveaway. I am going to be giving away the original Titanic watercolor doodle painting. <laughs> uh, all you have to do to enter is hit subscribe. You have to like this video and leave a comment down below of your favorite person that was on board the Titanic and why you really like them. I absolutely love reading all of y'all's comments and in this video and the rest of the video, we're actually gonna be making a few more of these paintings. And if you wanna help support me, you can click the link in the description below to pick up your very own copy of this watercolor. So right after this video hits 100 likes, then I'll be selecting the winner. Again, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. And let's get to painting. Alrighty, everyone, let's get this thing started. So I'm just gonna start off the painting by doing a faint outline using a flashlight underneath. I want everything to kind of look like the first picture. So I'm just kind of sketching that out so it can look super, super similar. But I wanna tell you about my favorite person that was on board the Titanic and that happens to be Molly Brown. You might remember her from the movie. Uh, she's just, she's known as the unsinkable Molly Brown because she survived the sinking of the Titanic. This woman is wealthy, okay? She was an American socialite and philanthropist. She was portrayed by Kathy Bates in the James Cameron movie, The Titanic. And even in the movie, she was my favorite. I thought she was so funny and just the type of person that who wouldn't want to be friends with her. She is just witty and awesome. I love people like that. Leading up to boarding on the Titanic, Molly Brown, uh, she spent the first few months of 1912 traveling in Paris, visiting friends and family, until she heard word from Denver, Colorado that her eldest grandchild was ill. She did what any amazing grandma would do and she immediately booked a passage home. That first available passage happened to be the Titanic. She hopped on the ship on April 10th, 1912, and the Titanic sank on the 15th, so she really wasn't even on that ship that long. Now, this next reason is why I really, really like her. So imagine this, wealthy, first-class passenger, the Titanic sinking, they just heard news, and what does she do? She helps others, she helps make sure other people get on the lifeboats, other people in first class, that she's around, she's making sure they get on safely, until eventually they had to force her to get on lifeboat six. And there were even reports that she grabbed an oar to help paddle away. How cool is that? I just imagine this woman like all dolled up in their, their outfits, literally grabbing a paddle and just like booking it. <laughs> Many people say she urged the lifeboat captain to go back and pick up lasting survivors that were left in the water. And it was even to the point to where they were arguing at each other. It is even stated that she threatened to throw the lifeboat captain overboard. Now it's not confirmed whether or not they went back or not, but I'd like to imagine that they did because she seems like a really headstrong woman. Like, I think if she had her mind set to something, she was gonna get it done. Now, after the sinking, she used her survivor fame to promote things that she cared about, like the rights of workers, women, and education. In addition, she also started a committee with other first-class survivors to secure basic necessities for the second and third class survivors as well. So she just didn't stop. I love people who are like that, who see a need and then help. Truly, truly inspiring. Alrighty, until next time, thank you all so much for watching and y'all have a blessed day. Bye now.